So I wanted to show this product that I got from a place called War Games Bakery. They're based out of the UK. Now, if you make an order from these guys, it's going to take about a month to show up. At least mine did, and I'm based out of Florida. But essentially what this is, is this is like a hard silicon. Um, it feels like it might be brittle. Like if I dropped it about a foot, foot and a half, this thing would shatter into a bunch of pieces. But essentially this is one whole... And there's my hand to kind of give you a scale. Um, actually, here's a base to give you scale. So basically what you do is you put some green stuff, gray stuff, whatever the heck you want, pile it up on here, and then just push it into here, and it's going to make an impression. Uh, that's basically what I've done with these over here. And then the Banshee's got... A base made out of this stuff. Hypnos has a base made out of this stuff. And the Sair has one too. Now on the Sair I want to show you guys. If you can see. There is a divot. There's like a split on the hex grid. That's right underneath his legs. Now. You can also see how high I had to pile the green stuff or gray stuff on there in order to get that impression in. Now on this plate, you'll see this right here is pretty tall, so you gotta really pack the green the green stuff on. Same like over here, and to a lesser degree this one over here. But all over the place there's like little ruined hex grids. Uh, like kind of like, you know, time-worn stuff over there, a little bit of stuff over here. It's kind of a shame because this, this wall here would make a really weird part of it. But there's like depressed grids over here, and it all kind kind of comes out random. Uh, you can just put the green stuff on and jam it into the the mold. Now another one I got. The first one's called Hex. This one's called Homestead. And it's all this old wooden texture. Like uh, like old wooden planking that's about to you know, fall apart with rot. There's like these stair textures over here. There's like a hatch door over here. And then they also have flip sides. Where this kind of looks like maybe ruins of a house or something and then the flip of the hex has some more hex has some straight lines I'm not really sure what I would do with those um, but it has some more damaged hex grids over here so this is kind of cool because previously I was using brass piping and poking out each individual hex and now this time this cuts down on the um, on the base making quite a bit so this stuff is kind of cool. It's a little pricey. It does take some time to get in. Um, but I, unless this thing breaks, I'll probably be using it for a good long time. So I like this stuff a lot. I would say give it a shot.